All right guys, I thought it would be good to show you how I would pack up this new sink backpack for a day at Disney. And before And before I show you how I do that, I thought I would just tell you um, what comes with the bag. So for the backpack, you get this um, changing pad right here. It's pretty big, it's wipeable on the back. And then you also get this little packing pixel is what they call this. And this fits in the front pocket of the bag. So right there, that's how it's made, um, what it's made to fit. And then the extra things that I got are the Tandem Lunch and Bottle Tote, and then also this Intermix system, which this is their organizer system. So you can use it just by itself. You can use it with the pixels. You can take the pixels out. Pixels is what they call these. Um, you can take the pixels out and pack them directly into your bag. You can put the whole thing in your bag with the pixels in it. However it is that you wanna use that, it also works as a caddy um, for your stroller, so I love that. I like to use it to organize in my car, and that has been really handy for me. But um, here is the bag itself. So let me show you guys everything I have here. So starting right down here, I've got some restaurant stuff. So I've got a bib for my daughter, and then some extra baggies for when we don't finish all of our treats. Those go right into this little, um, what's this called? What is this called? Bag? Okay, <laughs> into this little bag. And then I have another little set that goes into a separate little container. Um, this is three uh, silicone straws, two sets of silverware for my kids, and then a bunch of these um, disposable placemats that you just stick down onto the table. They have little, you know, kind of interesting stuff on them. So like alphabet and shapes and all that good stuff. So that all goes into one little bag. Right here I have um, a little entertainment bag for my kids so in this pouch right here I had some play packs this is three play packs a um, little card game some little finger puppet princesses and then two little play-dohs and a play-doh knife that all fits into this little pouch um, I also have of course wipes I have wet ones boogie wipes and Kleenex um, I have a first aid kit so this would also have my son's inhaler but it's in his room now since we're home um, but I have antibiotic ointment um, Benadryl uh, cold and cough medicine ibuprofen eye drops Tylenol syringe like medicine cup anything you we would need um, at the parks I like to have this with me I know they have the baby care centers which are great and the first aid stations and everything just like to have my own um and then over here oh fruit snacks okay um over here i have an outfit for both of my kids and definitely need this every time we go out so a top and shorts for my son my daughter had a dress and some shorts so it's a lot of what she wore over our vacation and moving right up here i have my little potty kit stuff so because my daughter's still potty training um, i always make sure to have a lot of potty kit items so this little pouch has undies extra shorties little baggy in case we had to put something like dirty clothes into it and then a couple of these little toilet seat covers a couple of pull-ups i took more than this with me but this is all that i had out of her room right now and then some wipes um so i had wipes in our big diaper bag i also had wipes in my fanny pack which you won't see any of my stuff here because i did have my fanny pack with me and then my husband had a little sling bag and he had wipes in there too and I think we also had wipes on the stroller. So lots of wipes everywhere, but that's um, the wipes for there. And then over here, I had a water bottle for each kiddo and a snack tower for each kiddo. And in the snack towers, I would have like crunchy snacks. So pretzels, um, goldfish, uh, Cheez-Its, like stuff like that. Um, chips sometimes too. So anything that I didn't want to get smushed, you don't want to get smushed in the bag, I would have that. And then I also had some more snacks. So lots of fruit snacks, some cookies, and then some granola bars or Power Crunch bars in this case. And a little baggie of treats that had Smarties, lollipops, and Starburst in it. And I always keep that as like just a little treat in case we need it. So that's everything that I would take into the parks with us for each day. Oh, I forgot these guys. Um, a little handheld fan and my daughter's um, noise canceling headphones were great. These came in so handy. She loved these. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pack up the bag the way that I would for being in the parks. And I'm going to use the Intermix system. 
I will probably just use the pixels, not the actual caddy, but I will use the pouches as well. Okay guys, there she is. She is all packed up and I honestly did not even have to use my little tote, which is pretty amazing. So this bag has a ton of capacity. I am really impressed with it. So just to go over where I put everything, I have the wipes, tissues, little fan down in the front pouch. And then I have a water bottle on either side. And honestly, everything else was inside of the bag. So actually what I would put here is our autograph books. And I'd probably stick just a couple of pins down in the little pocket that's in there as well. But my husband and I actually had those on us most of the time. So that it, you could either fit that down in this pocket or up here in this bigger one. That would work well in our place. But let me just show you guys kind of how everything ended up. Here, so I can kind of fold this down a little bit. And I have this new two snack towers just on top because honestly, we would have these out probably anyway. My kids would be snacking on them. And then here's the majority of everything else you can see right from this top kind of view. Um, the only thing I put in the back was the little bib pouch, but our entertainment stuff, headphones, um, the uh, treats and then um, silverware and straws. This is the potty kit, so easy access for that one. Um, again, entertainment stuff. The clothes, can you believe that two outfits for a five-year-old and an almost three-year-old fit in here? Crazy. And our snacks. And then our first aid kit was just right in the front. So. I am very impressed with this bag and I don't even think it looked very bulky to have all of this stuff in here.
All right, just to give you guys an idea about the capacity here, um, this is designed for bottles as well as like a lunch tote. So if you do have little ones that have bottles, you know, it's helpful to know um, to have that, but I don't. <laughs> So I could totally fit my two snack towers or three snack towers and a water bottle. I could do, you know, two snack towers and maybe like a little Tupperware with like some actual food in it. And then like some juice pouches in here, some extra snacks. This guy is really <laughs> quite large. I showed you earlier that the BitGo box does fit in here. So it's a sturdy, like good capacity little lunch bag, which I absolutely love. So good. So guys, that is gonna do it on my overview and packing for this new sink backpack and the tandem lunch tote. Here are just some of the details of the bag. It is truly so pretty. The hardware on it is a light gold. So I did add um, some accessories over here because I cannot help myself. And I went with Disney theme just to be on brand for <laughs> the video. But um, I absolutely love it. I think it's so gorgeous. It's totally timeless. This material up here is so wipeable and it feels like this one is as well. I don't feel like I'd be worried about it snagging or having any issues. So I think it's overall gonna be really durable and nice. And it's still, like I said, lightweight and easy to maneuver and use and it does have padded straps which is huge and nice d-rings to hang it off of your stroller if you wanted to plus a luggage strap so love it love it love it love it